Hello friends, welcome back to my, my YouTube channel. If you have not already subscribed it, please do subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. Uh, today's video, we are going to talk about calling external REST APIs with a node. Uh, at any point of time in your career, you, if you're working with any of the programming languages in today's world, uh, you might have encountered that you need to call an external API for a data or for something else purpose you need to do. So in today's video, we'll see how we could call an external REST API uh, with a node environment. Uh, the external APIs with a node environment can be called normally through different ways, but we'll be using an XUs and NPM package. And uh, we can invoke and call external REST APIs. They might be belonging to any external provider or server. Uh, we'll use XUs NPM package for the same. And uh, once the we call the uh, external API, uh, we we can process the data received. Like for example, we want to uh, store the data in the database, or we want to display it on the website, or whatever the way we want to use it. And APIs is the best way in the modern world to connect to the external data sources and fetch data. So today's world is an API driven or a service oriented architecture. So everybody exposes data or an API uh, so that you could uh, get the data from uh, the external sources. So much of our theory now, let's uh, uh, delve into the nodes uh, practical way of calling an API and how we could use that. So for calling uh, REST-based APIs with a node environment, um, I'll be using this website called as a JSON placeholder.tipico.com. I'll uh, paste this link within the description of the video. Uh, this uh, website gives you certain test data which you could use, like these are the resources. You could have users, to-dos, photos, albums. So let's say if you click on the users, so this is the actual API with some kind of a fake data or a dummy data that's being provided. Uh, it's a get request. You could just copy this. You could use it in Postman or some other ways to get the data and test it. And we'll also be using the same uh, API in our node environment to call the uh, data. So let's uh, see how we could use that. Now, in order to make an API call, the first thing what you need to do is you need to um, install the Axios packet. So what I'll do is I'll install it globally. So npm install Axios. And uh, once the package is installed, uh, now we can use this package and call that API over here. So I'll say const axios. I'll require that. And that's how we require a node. We already know. And now we'll make the request to the API. So we can say axios.get. And over here, we need to pass the URL. So we can go back and pass the same copy this URL and then we'll uh, paste it inside that. So this is the URL from where we want to get that. And then I can say user then and then I'll say response because I'm, I'm going to get some response back out here. And uh, once the response is there, we can capture that. We could use a catch function, so which can give us some kind of a error handling uh, within the same. Now, catch function is typically used for uh, um, to handle errors in case something went wrong or there was some issue. So we could use this block. And I'm just going to console.log, let's say, error over here. And we could also use uh, dot finally, which is the another one, uh, just like a try catch block that could be used to actually uh, display like or call anything because this function is always going to be run through. So irrespective whether the error was there or not. So we'll just simply say uh, this will always run. So that kind of a block. Now within the same, that is the then the promise is resolved. So I'll just try to use a console.log and then we'll just use the response over here. Okay, so that looks fine. So we say axios.get, it's a get request. So we first block is a then block where the promises are resolved, you get the response, you can do anything with the response. The second is the catch, 
where if there is any kind of an error so you get to handle that error or see the error details and finally is the block where the block always get uh, executed irrespective of the fact whether there was an error or not so you could use it for database uh, string or closing connections or anything like that now let's try run this and see what we get so node test.js once i run that so you would see uh, there is a kind of a response and this is also there this will always run from this block uh, this will always run and if we see this is the response the complete response that we get it's a big response from that particular url the complete response with the status okay status text headers and anything but what we are interested in the uh, status uh, sorry the response is this data key now this data is as a key as a part of the response object so you could use dot data to get this array of objects so let's try using the same and then see what kind of uh, stuff we get so we'll say response dot data and then if we try running this again let's clear this and run this so you would see now i'm only getting the records the data so it's an array of records so we are getting those uh, objects and the objects have further information like sub objects also but you could manipulate those objects based upon what kind of a needs you have or you want to process the data so that's how you could possibly call an api a third party api to get the data now this way in this case also at this place we could use some kind of a uh, let's say a sql server to store the data or a postgres to store the data or any kind of a database we could utilize to store it or for further processing uh, in the next video i'll, dem uh, I'll de try to definitely demonstrate the same where this data is actually stored or will push some of the data into some table so stay tuned guys i hope you guys would uh, like this video and would probably use this axios call or you might have been using it but uh, for those who are new to the node or axios call so this is how you could make a rest api call through axios within node.js thank you and have a good one